and welcome to One Player Today. We've got Friday on the table. Nice small box. Take it anywhere. Put the lid on the wrong way around. Um, take it anywhere. Look, the footprint isn't too big. It's not the tiniest game, but I mean, the box. Carry this in your pocket, mate. What we're doing, if you haven't seen Friday before, if you haven't watched my last video, shame on you, is we are fighting this hazard deck using this Robinson deck, trying to add cards from here, turn them, turn those hazards into fighting points, which you can then use to defeat other hazards. We have to do that three times on increasingly difficult levels and then face the pirates. The pirates are dastardly and terrible and we'll get to them later. Well, we might get to them later. <laughs> Every time we burn through our Robinson deck, we have to put one of these terrible cards in here. And to be honest, this is made up of pretty terrible cards to begin with. So what's that? We got terrible, terrible, and mostly terrible, terrible. This game is great. We're going to pull two cards. I'm going to look at the hazards. I've got them stacked the wrong way around. There we go. We're going to look at the hazards, and we're going to see which ones we think we can beat um, with the cards in our deck. Now I know for a fact there is five fighting points in this deck total to start with, so the chances of them having four fighting points on the top four cards, which is the amount of cards we're allowed to pull, is very slim. So we're going to put that one to the side, we're going to pull two cards to try and score one point, and that might work. All right, it's a good start so far. Negative one and a zero. So this is where we say, you know what? We're going to cut our losses. We haven't done very well. We haven't found any fighting points. We're losing the fight to explore the island. But you know what? That's okay. We're on negative one. We're trying to get to one point, so we're two points short. What we can do is pay two of our precious life out to the reserve up here, I think, just off camera. And when we do that, we don't get to keep this card, unfortunately, but we can discard a number of cards up to the amount of the life we just gave away. That was two. This is two. These cards are now out of the game. And so we've got rid of two of the bad cards in our 18-card deck. That's one-ninth. That's my math. Do you like that? With the Raft of the Wreck, exploring the island again, I think probably we've got more chance of doing this and scoring zero points um, with one card, because most of these are in fact zeros. Now, we win this round, which is great. It does mean that the weak card has to stay in our hand or stay in our deck, which is less than ideal, but we do get to add this card now that we've spun it around from the hazard side, and when we play it, we gain one life, so that's pretty cool. And we're just going to keep on playing like this until we burn through the decks. Here's the most tricky trying card of them all, the Cannibals card. As I said, we only have five total, so we've already... We've already... Uh, no, we haven't got one. But again, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So we're going to do the raft again. One card to score zero, and we scored one. Huh. Overachiever. And we get to put this in our deck, which actually reduces the phase... Um, of the hazard we're facing. This is a really helpful card later on. It's not very good now, um, but you'll see how it comes into play later. Um, it's been a bit of a lifesaver to me once or twice before. Now then, are we feeling? Are we feeling? Gam are we in a gambling mood today? We've we've spent one of our points. Um, we've got then three more ones and one more t and one two card in this deck. Do we think we can score one point in two cards to gain a one point fighting move? I think, you know what, let's let's go for it. These cards are weak. I mean, they're zero, right? So you, you're, you're battling for these cards and even though you, you don't have to do much to get them, you have to score zero points. They're not making your hand that much better. Let's try and do this and at least replace some of the zeros with ones. I don't know, maybe. Okay, we, this is exactly what we did last time we got this. Negative one, so we're two points away. And zero. So we actually, with this card, gain two life, which is fine, because what we're going to do, if we gain that two life back, now we've got a decision. Do we want to? If we, okay, hear me out. If we pay one more life, we can 
pull a card from this deck and add it to the to my current fight score. If that score is a zero, I'll still only have to pay two, and I can get rid of both of the bad cards. Whereas right now, if I just decide to quit, I'd be paying two to get rid of just one card, because I probably want to keep this, because it gives me life. So even though it's got a zero, it's, it's a pretty useful card. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to pay one, draw a card. It is a zero. And so we've ended up, we have ended up spending three life, but you know what? We've got rid of another two um, of the, the bogey cards. Now I'm going to try and be a bit more conservative as we go forward, I think, because I usually just blast away at my life and find that I've, you know, I'm down to like the last three life points by the time I'm like through one of the decks and it's pretty, well, it's pretty bad. So we're going to try and not do that as much this turn. Oh, we've got another, oh my gosh, it's exactly the same draw. Um, you know, I'm going to pay two life. I'm just going to get rid of it. Here we go. Get rid of these. We're not picking up any cards for our hand, but you know what? I think this is the best way to go about it. <sighs> Can we score four points? Is there going to be four points on the top four cards of this deck? There's a... F no. No, there isn't. There's, there's no way. Let's do this. We're going to score zero points on one card. We're going to score one point on one card, which is more than we need. Again, we're overachieving on the bad cards and underachieving on the half-decent ones that I actually want to keep. Um, here we go again. One card to score zero. We've done it. So we're winning a fair amount of hands. It's just that we're not really, like, we're not adding many many great cards to our hand. You know, this has got a four on it, for goodness sake. But you have to fight the cannibals, so that's, like, you know, probably not going to happen. Now then, this one intrigues me. We do have a two card in here. And I think we've got how many more ones? We've only pulled two ones, haven't we? So that means there's one left. Oof. So there's three points in these seven cards. Ugh. So if we pull three of them, what are the chances of getting two points? I mean, I don't, I'm, that's a hypothetical question. I'm not, I don't know. And I'm sure someone could work that out, but it's not me. Um, do we think we're gonna hit two points if we further explore the island? I desperately want to get a good card into our hand before we get through this entire Robinson deck the first time around. Let's do it, come on. Oh, yes, there you go. Now, it says we can draw three cards, and what it means is we can draw up to three cards. So, we're going to stop right there. We've scored enough points. We don't want anything else to ruin it from this deck, which it definitely would. And we're going to keep this card and put it in our hand. Now, that is great, because now we've got two twos, and finally, we're getting somewhere. Two twos and three ones, and at least we are moving ahead. Exploring the island, further exploring the island. Well, I'm not going to make that gamble again because I know there isn't two points in there. So there's only one point left in this deck and there's probably, well, there's plenty of minus ones. I think there's maybe three more. So if we pull two cards, yep, okay, it's a negative one. Um, I mean, the best that's going to happen is that we get a zero yeah, and pay two again. Ah, oh, that's okay. That's fantastic. That's great. That's okay. I'm okay spending life in like two chunk increments, you know? So I'm at negative one, I need to get to one. Paying two life. I'm, I'm okay doing that. Especially when I'm getting rid of two cards each time. That seems like a good deal. With the raft to the wreck or exploring the island. Now then, how many cards do we have left now? We've got four and I can pull two of them. Is that like a 50-50 chance that there's going to be a one in there? Should we do it? For another two card? Yeah, come on. Oh, crap. Uh, that's not what I wanted to see. And that is not what I wanted to see either. That didn't go as planned. Now I could... Again, I could spend one life to bet that this is a one. <laughs> Wait, so we're on negative one. No, we need two. Yeah, so we're, not, we're actually not going to be able to beat it, are we? 
So we need to, I was going to say, if, if both of these are one, obviously it would be a no-brainer, but because only one of them is, we're only going to get back to zero, and then we're still going to have to pay one life. No, so okay, it's not worth it. Pain two again. Bloody hell. And we're down to our last two cards. So let's go for this. We're going to pull one of the cards and hope that it is, here's a one. Here's a one. Okay, this might be the negative one then. I think there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it might be the zero. It might be another zero. We've really done well to get rid of all of the negative, <laughs> yeah, all of the negative ones. And um, we've done pretty well to do that in the first round. Um, I feel good about that. We've still got a lot of zeros in here, which aren't helping us. But you know what? That's okay. So this is going to go into our deck, and we've got. Let's go for this one. I tell you why, because we know this is a zero. Well, I think we know it's a zero. And then we're going to reshuffle this, and hopefully one of the better cards that comes up, or one of the cards that comes up on the top, is going to be one of the better ones. So how many have we got? We've got three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five point scoring cards and seven non-point scoring cards. We need to put one of these aging cards in this deck. We're not allowed to look at it. We don't know what it is, but it's usually, I mean, it's always bad. Um, it's either a zero or a negative number. That's thats what it is. And there's usually some terrible effect you have to play on yourself as well. So we're going to do that. Let's do a little bit. We're going to pull this first card that's left over. It is a zero. And then let's see what this is. Oh, that's the aging card. So this tells us to stop. Now, actually that's fine because it's the last card. So this basically is instructing us to stop pulling cards that we're allowed to pull for free. We can still pay to pull cards, um, which for a one, is it really worth it? I'm not sure. I'd like to get rid of this, but there's no, there's really no way for me to, unless I get a card that says destroy on it, but I'm not sure that I picked up one of those. Um, what have we got in life? Three, six, nine, we've got ten life, so we're about half, we're about half done. Let's just pay, let's be, we're going to be reserved. We'll pay one, we'll get rid of the weak card. This unfortunately stays in our deck for now, and this does not, but at least we made it through, and I think... Um, I think that's the best way to do it. I'm just playing it a bit safe. Play a bit safe, guys. Do I want plus one life or do I want plus one card? Do I want to score two points or one point? Let's try and score two points, shall we? Three cards to do that shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, we've got a nice special ability that gives us plus two cards as well. Let's keep pulling. Ah, oh, there's my destroy card, see? That would have destroyed this, and that would have made things all so much better. As it stands, we're on zero points, waiting to get to two. Ah, two. Now, we're not going to use this, obviously. We're not going to use this either, because we don't want to destroy anything on the board. But we have scored two points in three cards, so that two comes into our deck, and we are improving as we go. Still on ten life. Feels good. Further exploring the island. Now, these two cards are exactly the same, other than their special effects that we might gain. So, do we want one life or one destroy? I think we've already got... We've got one destroy there. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe we want a destroy. Yeah, let's go for a destroy. Three cards, the score two. I told you this card would be useful later. It's still not later, though. <laughs> Uh, this is fine because it gives us two life, and that's okay because it gives us one point. Let's take those two life now. Actually, what I should be doing is exhausting these cards or kind of tapping them when I use their special ability to let, let me know that they're done. This phase minus one is essentially when we get down to the yellow or the red deck, the hazard deck. You see we have to score different amounts, we have to score higher. If we pull this card, we can actually just reduce the phase level by one. So if we were pulling, trying to pull five points to get past the yellow, we'd be able to actually score two points to pay the green. Um, that's what that does. But because we're on green, it's not going to help us. We just gained two lives, so I feel okay about spending one of them to try and score one point to round off this 
card. It's not, but it is one life. So we get that life back again. And you know what? Why don't we just pull another one? Okay, that was that wasn't what I wanted. Do I keep going or do I cut my losses and get rid of this weak card? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut my losses. I'm gonna pay one. So we're back down to ten, aren't we? Yeah, we're back down to ten. So we're pretty much break even, and we're getting rid of this weak. That goes here, and these all go into my discard pile. And this is the last round of the green hazard deck. Shout out to Solo McLaughlin, or Solo McLaughlin, whose uh, playthrough video I saw taught me to place the threat level cards underneath the deck. Makes it really easy to remember what, what level you're on, and you can see the color right out the sides. You don't have to make a new pile somewhere else. Good job, nice thinking. I am adopting that as my own. So, um, with the wreck to the raft, or further explore the island, let's... You know what? We're just going to further explore, I think, because we haven't pulled that many. We've pulled two of our twos, but I think now we've we've got four in there. We haven't pulled... We pulled one of our ones. So we've got two more ones, and I think two more twos. So to score two points, I think should be okay... Famous last words three. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. So, again, we do have to keep this weak card in our deck, but that's all right. Um, I do gain a life from this card, and I can exchange this card for another, or I can exchange one card for another, but there's no point. I've already scored two, so we can put this in my discard as well. Now what we're going to do is move the, th I guess, the threat level or the hazard level up one. Now we are aiming for the yellow numbers on all of our hazards. So we have to gain significantly more points. And we're going to shuffle this and we're going to battle them all all over again. That's not bad, getting through the green, getting through the green hazards with only using one Robinson deck I think is pretty decent. I mean, I've only got a few, I've only got two cards left, but still. We kind of pipped it to the post, and I feel pretty decent about that. Okay, shall we? Let's let's continue. Robinson, what have you got for us? Exploring the island. Well, last time we went for destroy, so let's go for the life card this time. Two cards to score one point. Can we do it? One and I should have left it. I should have left that. I didn't want to pull that. I'm gonna, I'm, mm, yeah, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I don't need it. I don't. I didn't want to. I didn't mean to. I, I feel bad now, but that's. I only need to pull one, and I got one. And I just was so excited. I thought it was gonna be a zero, and it wasn't. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't. I feel bad. All right. Let's just put the one back. Um, now we've got to reshuffle our Robinson deck with an added aging card. Now we have two aging cards in there. Um, we also have some destroy cards though, so hopefully they come up at the same time and we can get rid of them without paying their hefty cost. Because to get rid of one of these, you have to pay two life rather than the standard one life to get rid of um, those weak zero cards that we saw. Um, okay. Let's put that back. Um, that's okay. We've got two here. Um, and it's wild animals, and it is exploring the island. Now, this would be grand. A nice three-pointer would be absolutely lovely. Can we score seven points off the top four cards of our deck? I, I think we might be able to. You know what? There's no better time than now. We've got equal, we've got exactly equal probability of any other time, right? I mean, what I mean is like, our deck's as good as it can be because it's shuffled. It's all the cards we've got. So we don't know, but maybe it is. <laughs> That's like my logical reasoning. Oh, no. 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 That is not okay. We're starting on negative two. That is terrible. Both of them? Are we serious? I can't even draw my next card. That, that's brutal. 
Okay, so now we're on negative two. We need to score seven because we're on the yellow. That's going to cost us nine life. Now, that leaves me on two health, which honestly I'm just not willing to do, really. I'm not, yeah, I, I don't want to do that. I'm going to pay one and draw a card because we can't have m many more terrible cards, can we? Equipment, plus two cards. We'll do that. We'll have that right away. Yes, we've got a destroy card as well and a two card. All right, this is better. Destroy. Let's do this immediately. We can do that anytime we want. So as soon as we get it, we're going to destroy this. It's out of the game. And now instead of negative two, we're on plus two. So this card was literally worth four points. That's pretty decent in my book. Now, now the question is, do I keep pushing to try and score more points or do I just pay the five and get rid of this and this um, and maybe something else I don't know five five life to get rid of two cards it doesn't really sound that great to me um, even though one of them is this terrible terrible stop card um, I think I'm gonna pay one more and just see what we pull come on let's let's just gamble a little bit it's a two fantastic we're gonna tap that as well to get one extra card it's a zero but we gain one life and you know what I think there I'm gonna stick we're paying we've got four we need to pay three life to get past this wild animal encounter that means this we can get rid of both of these for the cost of three and you know what I can't say fairer than that we've got rid of two aging cards and a weak card in one turn. I mean, it took us a lot of cards. One, two, three, four, five, about six, seven, eight cards. But you know what? It was, I think it was worth it. I'm trying to keep everything on screen, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, wild animals. That was, that was a bit risky. I'm not gonna risk cannibals as well. I don't think I can, well, all right. Let me, let me, let me play a little bit of devil's advocate here. Play a little bit of devil's advocate. We now don't have any negative cards in our deck, right? We don't have any. We've got zeros, yes, but most of them do something at least a little bit good. How many twos do we have? We have three twos left over and then three ones. That's what, that's six, that's nine. That is, that is nine points. We might have more than three ones though. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine cards. You know what? I, I think we're going to do it. Let, boy, I'm probably going to regret this. Five cards. We're starting with a two. That's strong. Another two. That's strong. And we get to double it as well. That's fantastic. So if we double one of our cards, we're now at six. Let's pull another. All right. That's seven. Right. One more. That is eight with a life gain. Oh, man. This is, this is going pretty well. Come on. Oh. Yes, absolutely, absolutely 100% yes. This is a double card, so we tap this and we double this number. So, well, I don't have to tap it. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that is enough to see off some cannibals and get us a weapon worth a whopping four fight points. That, yes, that was, that was I had luck on my side there. The gods of Friday are shining down upon us and saying, you know what, Matt? Today's your day. Um, let's see. Do we want to sort three cards or do you want plus life? They're the same otherwise. Two fight points. Let's 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 plus a life, shall we? We've got three more cards to pull. It's a zero, but it minus off phase finally we're going to show you actually how this works so instead of scoring trying to score five now with three cards we're actually only trying to score two because we minus the phase so that is pretty doable i think we can gain two life so we will do that and we've scored one hmm. um do we pay to pull another card or do we just carry on do we pay to get rid of it? Mm. There's no real benefit of paying to get rid of it because, well, I guess unless this is a zero. I don't think it is, so I'm gonna pay for it. 
it is a zero. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, well, so we, well, at least we do this. We gain a life, so that's <laughs> that's okay. And then we're going to have to pay one to get past the encounter because um, we're only at a score of one. Even with, our, even with our negative phase, we still managed to botch that up. Now, I can get rid of one of these cards, but to be honest, they're all not terrible. I mean, life, life, minusing the phase, and a, a score of one, it's not, they're not that bad. So I think I'm just going to keep chugging along. We've got another aging card to put in our deck. We did blast through that last set of, um, that last Robinson deck pretty quickly. Um, given that we spent all of our cards to get rid of the last aging cards we, we pulled. Hopefully this one's not as cruel, um, but that's unlikely. That is unlikely. Two cards, let's pull them. Exploring the island and getting the raft to the wreck. I don't want to get the raft to the wreck. It's a zero card, it's of zero use. Let's do this. Three cards to score five points. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's one card to score four points. We only need one more point. Please just be a one. Oh, you absolute jerk. Um, okay, so what's that? That's negative two. I hate this card. Um, negative, it's negative two plus four, right? Which is two. So we still need three more points from this next card. It's not three more, but it does give us plus two cards. So let's do that. Notice that I haven't formally tapped my double card yet, because if I pull a three, I'm gonna to wanna to double that. So I don't wanna double my two and then have to be stuck there, if that makes sense. I'm gonna pull two more cards. Oh, we've got a destroy card again. Perfect. Let's do that right away. Stupid out the window. That's great. We've had really good luck with those. I am enjoying having these destroy cards in my possession. We're pulling one more card, and now we only need one. And we've got a two. That was great. Yes, that was the perfect, perfect, perfect card pull. We have spent six points on it, but you know what? Oh, no, we didn't. We only spent... We only spent four because we won this one. Yeah, okay. So we've only we spent four. That's a, that's all right. Wild animals or exploring the island. This is a just oh that man. That's a big card. That's a three fight with one destroy. It's pretty good. But are we going to get seven points in our next four cards? We know there's no more minuses. We do know there's lots, there's still a few, oh no, I don't know lots, but there's still at least a few zeros. I should be counting them up at the end of each round because that would help me remember. But, is this going to be a bridge too far? I don't know. Let's find out. Great, best start. Plus a card as well. Zero, but plus a life. I'll take it. That's fine. And we'll do that. A one. So we're on three. We're on four plus another life. And then we can tap this to get another card. So we're on four. If this is a three. Oh, oh my God. I cannot believe my luck. This is going way better than any other Friday game's ever gone for me, so I'm just a bit suspicious. But that gives us eight points, and we have destroyed the wild animals and picked up this nice, bulky three card. I forgot we had this in our deck, to be honest, because we beat the cannibals, and I never beat the cannibals. Who beats the cannibals? No one beats the cannibals. Exploring the island and cannibals. You know what? I'm not going to push it. We, we got past the animals. I'm not going to push the cannibals. Animals and cannibals. I'm not going to push the cannibals right next door to it. Let's just draw two cards and see if we can score three. Let's draw two cards and see if we can score one. We've got the negative phase card. We didn't. Uh, we do get two life, though. Um, so we're doing pretty well on life as well. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen life. Okay. I'm feeling all right about this, guys. Should I just pay one and get past it? Oh, no, I like the double, though. I do want the double. All right, I'm going to pay one and draw a card, because I like this double. If we can get double on a four or a three, it's brilliant. That's 
all I need. That is all I need. One life for one card. One point. Checkmate. Checkmate. I think that's what they say. Exploring the island or with the raft to the wreck. Now this copy is not a double, so it doesn't allow you to duplicate the fight points, but it does enable you to copy the special ability of any card. So let's say we pulled, you know, we played the two life with it, we'd be able to gain four life, which is pretty cool. I do like being able to pull a lot of cards, but then we're adding another zero to the deck, so it's like less, mm, yeah. Okay, let's go for three. Two cards to score three. What can we do? We're scoring zero so far, but we've got a life. And we are scoring, come on, one. Hmm. That's not that good. Um, let's pay. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Oh, I should have done that. I absolutely should have done that. I scored three. We scored three. We win this card. We're through the Robinson deck again, but you know what? I don't even mind. I think we're doing pretty decent. Um, before I pull the aging card, let's just have a count of how many zeros we've got in here. One, two, three four five six we've got six zeros most of them do well all of them actually do something decent or something at, at least like to give us life or uh destroy oh no that's de uh, yeah destroy or let's pull cards so we've got six zeros how many twos have we got one two three four five twos Six ones and then a couple of threes, right? Or one three and one four. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna add this, which is an unknown quantity, but it's it's probably I mean it's probably a minus. It can be a zero, but it's probably a minus. Um, okay. Let's back to it shall we? We're nearly done with the yellow hazard deck. Uh, we are nearly done with the yellow hazard deck. Wild animals, exploring the island. It's a two weapon or a three with plus one card. I'm tempted to go this way again. I feel like we've got a decent chance. We've got some good cards in here. I mean, if we pull the, if we pull the bloody aging card the first hand again, I'm going to be really upset. One for one, two for two with one life, so that's fine. Three for three, okay, and we can, we'll can we save this copy. We might want to use it to get life, we might want to use it for something else. And then our last card, or our last free card, is two. Interesting. Interesting indeed. This exchange only lets us... As far as I'm aware, it only lets us exchange the cards on the left of um, on the left of the hazard. So you notice that when I'm drawing free cards, I'm putting them to the left. When I'm paying for cards, I'm putting them to the right. And I'm pretty sure that exchanging the card means you have to take it from the left. I'm gonna just double check really quickly. Um, no, it doesn't have to be. Okay, well that's good. That's fine. And you can choose one that you've already used for the special ability. So if I pay for a card and it's rubbish, I'll exchange it with this. And I can just get another card and put it in the same place. Yes, let's do that. Pay one, let's pull a card, see what it is. What do I need? One, two, three. I only need two points. Oh, it's a zero. So that's great. Um, do I have a destroy in here? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, all right, well, that's not the worst aging card that can happen. And you know what? I will exchange it because what it says is the highest card is equal to zero. So that means that currently this two is now equal to zero. So we've only got three points. If I pulled any better cards, if I pulled a three or a four, um, that highest card would be zero and, and we're just never going to get anywhere. So I think what we're going to do is tap this, exchange this, um, which means we do keep it on deck, but we get a two. That is grand. And we've got a double. So if we double this, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are gonna copy the life. We've passed the we've passed the hazard and we're gonna copy the life, so we're gonna get another life back. So that card that we just pulled um, was absolutely worth the cost. Because it didn't cost us anything after all. Very, 
very good. Exploring the island gives us a weapon, or Raft to the Wreck, which gives us a copy. I'm gonna get the weapon, or I'm gonna try and get the weapon. Jeez, I'm not, I'm not trying to get a cocky here. Okay, zero with two cards, that's not bad. Let's see what the next one is. It's a three, that's fantastic. It does have a destroy, which would have been useful earlier, but that's okay. We're just, we're, we're cycling through them here. Look, we're down to the end of the yellow hazards. We've got some more wild animals. All right, let's have a quick look at our discard pile. It's an open discard pile. I can look at it whenever I want. Oh, we do have two threes. Oh, no, we, we just won that three. So what have we got? What did I say we had? Five twos. So we've got two twos still in there. We've got one four still in there. We've got two twos still in there. One four and three ones. So that, what is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine fight points left in this deck. Okay, hear me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards. We know there's no negatives because we've already pulled the aging card. I think we can beat the wild animals again. I really do. I feel confident. I feel confident. One for one. Two for two with a double. Minus a phase, that's perfect. Now all we need is actually, we only need one, we only need one, one. <laughs> we need one. It's a zero. Of course it's a bloody zero. We get to gain two life though, so that is, we've got more, okay, we've got more life than we've lost, and that is a rarity for me in this game. So, we've got the phase minus one card, so we only need to score four points. We're currently on, what are we on, three points, because we can double this one. I say we pay. I mean, we just gain two life. We just pay one and see what we get. It's a zero. We pay, we get one life, but then we pay it again, I think, just to be honest. And that is all we need. One double is two, three, four, minus the phase. We're scoring four points. And right at the end of the yellow phase, we get to just nip in there and grab another green card. There we go. That, I think, was a pretty darn good run through the hazard deck. I think at this point I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to split this because I know we're getting up to about 30 plus minutes. So I'm going to split this up. I'm going to put part two out um, later on. Let me know if that's what you guys prefer. Do you want a big hour long play session or would you rather like break it up? I don't know. Whatever. Um, let me know. Drop me a comment. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you later.